Love at first slice. It's comfort food that loves you back. Sometimes a frozen pizza is like a fine work of art. Maybe this is an exaggeration. But the point is, sometimes the frozen pizza you make at home is mind-blowing. And sometimes it is just garbage. Is he gonna swallow that? Here is a list of the top 10 frozen pizzas ranked from worst to best. Hey, frozen pizza, awesome. California Pizza Kitchen Four Cheese Crispy Thin Crust Pizza The California Pizza Kitchen Four Cheese Crispy Thin Crust Pizza is arguably a pretty bad pizza. Sadly, it does not seem to have pleased the public. Some online reviews state this pizza had to be thrown in the garbage because it was inedible. This pizza tastes like garbage. Other reviews said it was gross, tasted and looked like cardboard, and was overpriced for what was given. One particularly savage review made a comparison to a saltine cracker. Like the ones you dip in soup or eat a box of when you have the flu. If you love this brand of frozen pizza, then maybe you need to get out there and write a good review for it. Because right now, the California Pizza Kitchen Four Cheese Crispy Thin Crust Pizza is getting battered by public opinion. I can't believe we're even talking about this! This is madness! Now, yet another reason this pizza has been getting some flack on the internet is because of its packaging. It is apparently wrapped in plastic, and then topped with something, and then wrapped in plastic again, and again. One online review said unwrapping the pizza was like opening a Russian nesting doll, or conducting an archaeological dig. Ouch. I got a terrible deal on pizza. Too bad, so sad for this frozen pizza. 365 Three Cheese Mini Pizzas. Like, where's the pizza? Warning, this next item on our list is not a real classic frozen pizza, but frozen mini pizzas. But still, they deserve to be on this list because they are frozen and they are pizza, so in this case, size doesn't matter. A lot of people even prefer this style of pizza as it can actually be easy easier to eat. That said, the 365 Three Cheese Mini Pizzas are bad. That is putting it mildly. Reviews for these cute little pizzas say that they are mushy, taste fake, and one even said they were offensive. Oh my goodness, to think that these cute little unassuming bite-sized pizzas can offend someone is hilarious. What's the point in reviewing frozen pizza? You're talking about it. Now, what we learn when reading the reviews for the 365 Three Cheese Mini Pizzas is that reviews can be dramatic. That sometimes frozen food does taste man-made, obviously, come on, the food is in fact frozen, and that the words mushy and pizza should not go together. Considering all of this, we may want to acknowledge that people do buy the 365 Three Cheese Mini Pizzas, and so there must be a market for the mushy taste. Maybe there are a bunch of people out there who crave this stuff. And you need to leave this house and come back with more respect! Pizza! Home Run In Premium Pizzeria Next up on our list is the Home Run In Premium Pizzeria Collection. They offer an array of pizzas, such as classic cheese, classic pepperoni, and classic margarita with sausage, to name a few. They also offer some signature pizza options, as well as some ultra-thin crust options. The Home Run In Premium Pizzeria Collection is great. Frozen pizza! Frozen, frozen pizza. pizza! They have a good selection. They do not taste like cardboard, which can be an honest concern when talking about frozen pizza. They have good flavor. They seem to tick all the boxes right? And they do. They are good, and there is nothing so obviously horrible about this brand of frozen pizza. But wait, there's more. The Home Run Inn Premium Pizzeria is yummy, but not extraordinary. It is not something you would likely recommend, though you may have eaten it and perhaps even bought it a second time. It is not something that has blown your socks off or floated your boat. It is certainly not premium, and yet it is not so bad that we have to wail and moan and beg for it to be removed from the frozen food section. Home Run In Premium Pizzeria is making good pizza, and that's about it. There's no aspect, no facet, no moment of life 
that can't be improved with pizza. Nothing more and nothing less. DiGiorno Original Rising Crust Pepperoni Pizza. The DiGiorno Original Rising Crust Pepperoni Pizza is one that has many customers coming back for more. Yeah! But it is also a pizza that has customers writing on online message boards in a tizzy. The deal is this. Some people think it tastes like heaven, and other people think the crust is overwhelming and weird. Eaters can't complain if they get a crust that's too thick because it's right there in the name. So here it is. Frozen pizza buyers, listen closely. If you do not want a very thick crust, then the DiGiorno Original Rising Crust Pepperoni Pizza is not for you. Hey, well, as far as I'm concerned, progress peak with frozen pizza. Whoa, so glad we have that out of the way for the thin crust only crowd. Now we can talk about how great this frozen pizza is and how fluffy that delicious crust rises to be. And we have to mention that due to the large rising crust, this is one very filling pizza. The DiGiorno Original Rising Crust Pepperoni Pizza is super awesome for any meal, and especially great as a late night snack that you know will fill you up. When when you put it in the oven, you are hungry, and then you eat it, and you are no longer hungry. That sounds like a success where frozen pizza is concerned. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Tombstone Pizza. Tombstone Pizza's questionably dark tagline what do you want on your tombstone? May be a great place to start when considering where this pizza falls on a list of the worst to best frozen pizzas. The analogy of pizza toppings and an epitaph seem weird and yet very well placed. It is for these reasons that the frozen pizza does not seem to take itself too seriously, if that is at all possible. Unlike a frozen pizza chain like Home Run In Premium Pizzeria, which seems like it wants to show off and be like, Ooh, look at me! I am premium! The Tombstone Pizza seems more down to earth and able to give a joke and take a joke. No! Oh, please, God, no! These silly interpretations of the attitudes pizza can have may actually have more of an effect on your frozen pizza purchasing than you think. Tombstone Pizza is kind of cool. They are aware that they are just a frozen pizza company, which is made clear by their funny tagline, and boy, are they rocking the market. People like this pizza. Maybe, just maybe, people like it not only because of its flavor, but because of its brand. There is something reassuring about it that is hard to pin down. It is like the funny uncle you have whose sarcasm is so ripe that some people can't get behind behind it, but it is actually so true, so honest, so present, and basically so great. So all in all, Tombstone Pizza is like your funny uncle. Hopefully that is a digression and metaphor which makes sense. Not to mention, it is iconic for having no box. How cool funny uncle is that? If Tombstone Pizza is the funny uncle, then Home Run In Premium Pizza is the uppity ant. What the? Trader Giotto's Organic Three Cheese Pizza. Trader Joe's rocks. Obviously, it is no wonder that their in-house pizza would rock, too. It bakes well and has really good sauce. This seems like a winning situation, but a pizza is not rated only on its ability to bake well and its sauce. So we must acknowledge that there has been some negative feedback regarding the Trader Giotto's organic three cheese pizza, mainly in terms of the quality of the cheese. Some people online have stated that they did not like the cheese in its own right, while others thought that the cheese and sauce balance was not great. Not too good, man. Trader Giotto's organic three cheese pizza certainly has room for improvement, but that does not mean it isn't a great choice for a night in which you just need a frozen pizza. Some folks have even been known to throw their own cheese on the frozen pizza. What? You can do that? Yes, you really can. You can do it! The trick is to bake the pizza for a bit, and then maybe eight to five minutes before you think it would be ready to take out of the oven, you add your own cheese that you have cut. You can add anything. Cheddar, blue cheese, gouda, Swiss, Emmental. Anything else? 
anything. That is the beauty of making the frozen pizza at your house. You can add what you want to it. But it is important to note that the pizza is good as it is. Signature Select Rising Crust 5 Cheese Pizza. This is Safeway Gold. That's gold, Jerry. Gold! The Signature Select Rising Crust 5 Cheese Pizza is a Safeway in-house frozen pizza that you may have purchased before. When you bake this pizza, the smell will make you drool. For just a little bit, your home will turn into a pizzeria, and you will be so glad it did. You may even imagine yourself with an apron on, throwing the pizza dough in the air. Wow. You imagine topping the pizza and putting it into your oven. Oh, the magic of it all. Okay, 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 let's snap out of it. You are not baking this incredible pizza. You broke my heart. You broke my heart! Though hey, you probably could bake an incredible pizza, give it a go! You were simply putting a signature select pizza in the oven. All imaginings aside, this pizza is really, really good. Red Baron Classic Crust Pepperoni Pizza Now we're talking. The Red Baron Classic Crust Pepperoni Pizza is a frozen pizza favorite. It is not super greasy, and yet still turns out so good it seems freshly baked. Some folks even think that this pizza was good enough to be confused with the pizza that you ordered in for delivery. Microwave pizza. Awful. <laughs> Go figure. Now here is a fun challenge. Why not pop a Red Baron Classic Crust Pepperoni Pizza in the oven and order a pizza from a chain and then test your family and friends? That will be the only way to know if you believe Red Baron is good enough to beat delivery. Of course, this all depends on the place that the delivered pizza is delivered from. How is the pizza of Nazareth? People worship it. But still, it is a fun experiment worth playing with. Freshetta. Get fresh. A freshetta pizza is the perfect blend between crispy crustiness and soft, supple, warm bites. This is because of the naturally rising dough, meaning it is made with yeast, ultimately producing a crust that is magnificent. Other than raving about the crust on this pizza, people have said that there are pretty good ratios on this pizza. Now, this is something that does not happen every day. Sometimes you have too little sauce or not enough cheese. Sometimes the toppings taste fake or are non-existent. Getting a balanced pizza is pretty difficult. Yes, may I please speak to pizza? Having balance doesn't just matter on a balance beam or tightrope. It matters in food and drinks. It matters in your cocktails and it matters on your burger. In this case, it particularly matters on your pizzas. Even on the frozen pizzas you buy and cook at home, balance is key. Freshetta is known for having quality toppings and for being well-balanced. So that's a big fat win for all of us frozen pizza buyers. Freshetta is a frozen pizza you will not only recommend, but will purchase religiously. I'm agnostic. Uh, Aren't you hungry just thinking about this perfectly executed delight? Newman's Own Newman's own tagline is, in crust we trust. Hi there, now we trust each other. And boy, is that the truth. This heavenly frozen pizza is so scrumptious, it may be your favorite pizza ever, ever. Newman! That includes delivered pizza, pizza eaten at restaurants, and even homemade pizza. It apparently has no trans fats and no preservatives. That is important. Frozen food is sometimes packed with things to keep it from expiring. Yo, what's up with the pie, man? But not this bad boy. The other incredible thing about Newman's Own is that they give all of their profits to charity. You may be thinking this is absurd and improbable. It isn't. The Newman's Own website states, Newman's Own Inc. continues Paul Newman's commitment to pay 100% of net profits and royalties from the sale of our food and beverage products to Newman's Own Foundation, a charitable organization supporting nonprofits around the world. Wow, isn't that amazing? So, with every delicious Newman's Own pizza you buy, you are not only getting an incredible product, but helping out. That's bonkers. You're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are 
Go ahead and tap on one of our other great videos, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.